Alright, so I know that this particular game is kind of light years away from the normal content that people come to my channel for, but since it looked like a really interesting storyline and a fresh new take on first-person survival-oriented gameplay, I figured it would be worthwhile to at least try Firewatch and see how well it does on the channel. So I'm definitely looking forward to your comments and like ratings and stuff to let me know if this is something that I should continue doing or if it's totally going to flop and it's better that I spend my time doing something else. So without further ado, let's jump right into this brand new independent um, park ranger based survival game called Firewatch by Campo Santo Studios. Let's go ahead and start. Damn, it's looking pretty nice. I really like the art style, that's for sure. And it runs like cake. And this is definitely a game that a lot of people can play without issues, as far as I can tell. I mean, I've got a 980 Ti, so it's not like I'm, you know, restricted by any means in this uh, current point in time with graphical options. But, yeah. Beautiful game. And, uh... Hopefully you're enjoying the Let's Play so far. It's already been like 15 minutes and we just finally got through the beginning, so... Hopefully you're not too bored. Okay, let me turn on our power. Let's take a look on the... Hello, Two Forks Tower. Oh, never mind. Um... How do I respond? Oh, I picked that up. Okay. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Hold left shift to activate the radio. Uh. Okay. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... Like, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh... You killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Uh... Let's go, you've killed three ex-husbands, because that... Just okay. sounds uh, ridiculous. You've killed three husbands. You're a black widow, and you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. <sighs> okay, I sleep now? <laughs> Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? Close? Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Well, finally. Jeez. <laughs> That's like going through multiple interviews trying to get hired. Constantly, you know, explaining to employers why you deserve to have a job when they could Good just, morning, Henry. Well, I you know, hire afternoon. you. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Uh, let's take a look at this photo with Julia. Can I take a look at that? I guess I can't pick that up. Uh, oh, I have to pick up the radio to answer. Yeah, left shift. Sorry, I guess I slept in. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's, what, 6? Six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? We use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um... You, uh, you use this to... 
Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Out the west-facing window. Um... Are those fucking fireworks? Where? I don't know which way is west. I need you to confirm. Do you see that? Oh, N. To use the compass. So west is... So that's north, so west is this way. Seriously, are you seeing this? Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, it took me a second to get my bearings, but yes. Um, how do I, how do I respond? Oh, there Henry. we go. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. All right. Let's ask if I can write them a ticket. Do you think ticket. you can handle that? Do I write them a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Wow. That's a really, really complicated, difficult code to crack for anyone. Um... Oh, did I run out of time to respond? Okay. Let's see. So... Where exactly... Two Forks Lookout, so I guess I'm right there. And I have to go... I believe it was this way. So... It sounded like a bear or something behind me. I'm going to keep moving. Uh, let's take that. Ron. Hey, man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. Okay. Talking about drinking, let's see, that's from 86. So that's like a couple years old, is what it's looking like. Um, how do I get rid of that? Just drop that. Let's copy the information. Okay, map updated. Jolly good. This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. And there's a canyon and then the rest of, well, <laughs> Everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> and maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Why the end of the summer? Why can't I go over and see it now? So sick of people telling me what to do. Uh, no. Uh, let's... Let's hope that I can get to these fireworks quickly. Because we're already running at like 23 minutes here, just getting started in the first episode. And I don't want to, you know, drag it out too long. Okay. It's steep. Well. Attach the rope. Yay! Belay on! On belay. Let's go. Oh, you just moved down. Okay. I was like, what? You click? Is it like Far Cry? No, no, what? No! Ow. Ow. Jesus. Is that supposed to happen? <laughs> what the fuck, though? That's, like, not even a steep cliff. I could just, like, slide down that on my butt. That is pretty ridiculous. I'm sorry. He's, like, getting hurt. Like, having to rappel down that, of all things. That is just... That's despicable. Oh, it looks like that would be them. Report the meadow. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Beer cans. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Whoops. 
Oh, look, there's someone's pack. Well, they left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Okay. I won't fuck with them, then. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. <laughs> I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Guess not, huh? Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Ugh. Well, confiscate them. Wait, I hold the right click to inspect the objects? This is some wacky looking fireworks, that's for sure. Magic missile. Screaming wife. <laughs> Great job. Uh, confiscate, hold E. Okay. Starting to get the hang of this. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Uh, there's definitely a woman here. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties. <laughs> there are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's, a. Uh, ooh. Yes? <laughs> Another set of underwear. There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and... What is that guy doing over uh, there? Is what are you doing over there? Guy, are you skeezing? Get out of here! What the hell are they holding? Are those sparklers? Are you kidding me? Can I swim out there? Oh, seriously? Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, all right? <gasps> Don't threaten us. That was a weird yeah. way who to the say hell that. Are you creep? Oh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. Why do guys Ugh. think it's all right to just stare at girls? Why do you think it's all right to uh you know, cause a fire hazard by, you know, setting off some cheap fireworks, you dumbasses? Hey, just so you're aware, I confiscated your fireworks. Our fireworks? What? <laughs> you dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. I hope they drown. <laughs> Yow! I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. Thanks. I'm gonna take this too. But seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. Wait, it, can I not take it with me? I can't confiscate the boombox. The fuck is playing? That better not be a copyrighted song. That would be some serious issues. I'm gonna have to turn off the music completely. That'll kind of detract from the game, but yeah. Hey, I'm back near that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. Uh. Wait a second. Head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards Thunder Canyon. Okay. Oh, I see. So we're going through this Thunder Canyon area over here. All right. All righty then. Let's go. Oh, wow. That was such a difficult climb to make. I wonder if I can make this one. It looks too steep. I don't know. That one over there looks even more steep. I'm not sure if I can do it, guys. Okay. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Oh, God. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. 
I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. I could just ignore her if I wanted to at this point, but I'm going to keep talking. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Am I capable of getting through here? Oh, okay. I was going to be like, what? Am I stuck? Do I have to do some, uh, you know, moving around some big rocks or something like that? Let's see. Nearby storm. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Hmm. I got hit by lightning when I was nine. Let's see. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? He probably killed himself after going crazy from working with you this whole time, Delilah. Ooh. Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Yeah, I could think of a couple things. I live in Colorado and we have tons of spare antlers lying around all the time. Wait, I have to report it when I'm looking at it right there. Let's What's see. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Yeah, yeah. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... <laughs> maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. I don't yeah, think so. but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. I'll be I'm doing so that. so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. I'll definitely be exploring that cave when I get a chance. That looks intriguing. Whoa. What is that? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. Uh. The creeps? <laughs> Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. Oh, God. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Are you fucking yeah, kidding okay. me? I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Oh, well, what's that guy doing there? Just shining a light on me, like standing on that outcrop of rock. And when I go over here, he's like not gonna be there all of a sudden because you know game mechanics and shadowy figures that are standing in the freaking background of the scene that you can't access. I think we're almost back to the uh, fire station, so. Once we get there, I'm going to cut this episode, because it's already been almost 40 minutes, so it's going to take a bit of editing for the dialogue and stuff, but for the most part, definitely going to be completed once we get up to the top here. So I hope you've enjoyed this so far. Uh, I really don't expect this to you know, get as much attention as my other content, like I said before, but I might as well start branching out one way or another, so yeah. Anyways, let's just get back to the freaking station, shall we? It's taking a lot of climbing. Jeez. Trail close sign. Do I report on that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> well. Damn it. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was... Backbreaking, but you know anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Oh, it's this guy. Ah. 
You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forrest Burns. <laughs> Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. So what, someone's been here, dicking around with my stuff? Looks like it. Wow. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place, threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. A lot of interesting books here, actually. This is all, like, looking like it's real stuff for the most part. Besides, like, Forest Burns and all that. Like, let's see. Glory. Can I get a good enough look at, um, the singular mind? Okay, I put in a call. Jonas Allard. I'm going to look that up and see if that's a real book. That'd be interesting, actually. That was fast. Yeah, well, do you have any idea who could have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Sounds like it. <sighs> okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. Okay. I need you to feel safe out here. Oh my gosh. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. Okay, well, it looks like that is a good place to stop, so I'm going to go ahead and quick save real quick with F5. Hopefully it's saving automatically anyways. Wake up. Okay, so I'm going to cut this here. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this series. Definitely leave me a like rating and a comment letting me know if you want to see more of this, if I should continue it or not. Anyways, peace out.